Hey guys, this is Shandra, and I wanted to show you the folio that I made with the Simple Story Summer Vibes Collection Kit that um, Outrageous Necessities has on her site. I'll link that below. I'll link the video below of the walkthrough of the kit that she has. And um, so this is all I have left. I have a couple cut aparts, um, one bottle cap, some sequins one chipboard thing and I haven't used um, the stamp yet and some of the stickers I've used and some of them I haven't I really like to put my stickers on and my words and stuff after I put my pictures on so I will be using these after I put my pictures on whenever I do that because you know I'm bad um, so this was what was left of the regular paper that was it and then I have two sheets now you can add more and I'll show you where you could add more pictures. There's this little thing right here that folds out and you can add more than I did. I only added four, um, but you could definitely add more and then use these. Um, well, I don't know. You can't probably use three of them anyway. Um, so I'll go back to the beginning. This I made out of cardstock. You could definitely use Tyvek. Um, if you wanted to make the construction out of Tyvek. I just don't like how it doesn't match the colors exactly, so it, it drives me nuts. So I used the sun here. There's some enamel dots. I glued one of the frames to the front, and this is a sticker. Okay, so both of them open up. And in each one of these is a little fold out. This is a cutout from the collection. Everything in here came in the kit, okay? I did not add um, anything at all. So everything that you see came in this kit, this chipboard frame. Um, this was a cutout from the collection. I sliced it and then used another cutout from the collection to make it look like this was a Polaroid picture. There's a sticker, a cutout, and these were stickers. It's a chipboard, um, frame, and I just glued it on the bottom so that I can still stick something journaling or whatever. Some enamel dots here, and then a cutout from the collection, and that just goes into this pocket on the side here. This other pocket, same thing, but it's just decorated differently. Cut out from the collection, sticker. This is a cutout from the collection, a sticker, a sticker, a bow I made with some of the ribbon that came in the kit, and a cutout from the collection. And this was um, the wood grain paper and then I cut this out from one of the cut apart pieces and then I cut this cloud out from another um, cut apart. A flower that came in the kit. Here's an ice cream cone. Let me see if I can zoom in for you here. I don't want to get rid of this bag. <clears throat> so there's a flower with a bling. I put some enamel dots there. This is a cut out from the collection and then an ice cream cone which she actually shaded so it's all shaded for you on this side there's a mason jar with a straw and a lemon here's two camera stickers um, I put two enamel dots and a cutout from the collection there um, she made a camera so right there is a camera with a strap and I put it on the camera page this piece has um, she gave you a big piece of orange burlap where's the rest of it I tell you, my cats, they just take away everything. I don't see it on the chair. Is that my chair? Am I sitting in it? No. All right, well, she gave a big piece. It was probably about that big. I don't know, 12 by 12 maybe, 10 by 10. I cut a heart out, and then I put a uh, cutout from the collection there. <clears throat> so this side... There's another popsicle and some enamel dots. And then this is the little photo sleeve thing. Here's a pocket. And I took some of the cutouts and some of the um, transparencies and put them on the left side. There's a cutout there, transparency here. And I just used some glue under the M so you can't see it. It's just taped so I can pull it up, put my picture down and then glue it back down cut out from the collection another transparency and I tried to use glossy accents but it didn't work so well on that one so and I did use these two brads I lied there's four brads that I use out of my collection 
um, my own stash to make this. So see, there's only four there. So you can definitely make this thicker and then use um, the last piece of cardstock. She put two pieces in. So if you wanted to make an album out of this, instead of doing, you know, like this folio, you, you have two coordinating pieces for the cover. Okay. So this side, same thing. She cut out flip flops. Here are some enamel dots and I stuck a cut apart there. And then I made another um, little flap thing. And here's the second brads that I used. All I did was I took the, when you cut this paper, the strip down here has a decorative on this side and then on that side. So what I did was I just used that to cover the back of the brad. So here's the brads going all the way through. And then I just stuck tape there. Um, I stuck some of the brain fart that's right on the tip of my tongue. You guys are yelling at it, I'm sure. Sequence. There's some sequence there. Looks like one got stuck in the pocket because it came off. That'll happen. Cutouts from the collection. Um, there was a lot of flowers in the collection. I just glued them on there um, because this was a part of the design for the jar anyway. It had flowers on it, so I glued some of the punched out flowers there. Another one of the transparencies, and that goes into that pocket. So when you open up this side, here's some more flowers, um, mason jar, some more frames here. This is a full design. I did stick one of the transparency sheets there, and uh, it's just like lightly tacked down, like I said, until I get my pictures in, and then I'll put it down permanently. Some more enamel dots. This was some balloons that she cut out. I thought it looked cute next to the cloud. This flips open. You have this sheet here and this sheet there, which is just like um, the last piece that I have. It's the cut aparts that are six by 12. So, you know, it fit perfectly there. So um, you can add another flap to this if you want. And then you'll have even more room for pictures just make sure I got that in the frame there because I zoomed in so you could see okay so this side I went crazy with the sequins and glued them all on there there's a little moped um, some more of the flowers and I stuck some of the enamel dots on the centers of the flowers there let me see if I can get it closer and then here's another transparency sheet there and then over here, I just glued this cut apart right here on the left and the bottom, and I stuck more journaling photo mats there behind that. And that is the album. It has a one inch spine. Oh, and I decorated the back. Zoom back out. So again, I had all the paper to do this. There's one sheet of the six by 12s left. And like I said, um, you can add another flap here and that would take care of that. But she added two pieces of this. So if you wanted to make a mini album out of this, you definitely could. And I have several tutorials on my channel for that. And I will try to find some pictures um, to, to Matt or to put in here. And then this cute camera stamp. I want to use my journaling cards that I get from Project to Life and stamp this on the journaling card and then um, journal and stick those in there. And that's my, oh, you know what? I didn't tell you what size it is. I think it's six by eight. Let me measure the back. Yep. It's six by eight. So this folio is six by eight. So I hope you guys like it. Again, I'll leave the links below so you can run out and get your kit and I'll have a tutorial um, later um, for those that get the kit if they want to make this. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.